Ankeler, Unite. We are back with more Final Fantasy. Don't forget to subscribe to enter the army of the Ankelers and together we can only become better. In the previous episode, we saved Gav from the Imperials and we saw that Joshua is still alive. But that isn't a surprise because he's a Phoenix, so he would be alive Speaking like great gouts of fire he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. What? They're plotting something. Jill. And also, like, I don't know why Joshua just kept He's hiding. <laughs> <clears throat> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. Okay. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Mm. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. That sounds painful. Yes, sell me the ultimate sword or something. I know you have it. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't know why Joshua would do this. Like, you know, torturing me for so many years. Like, wow, he kills you. It's true then. It really is you. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. And where do you have Siva like? The Iron Blood. <clears throat> they invaded not long after the news arrived about Phoenix Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. 
to fight for them on the battlefield or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Good man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. Let's get this fixed before someone... We're looking at half a dozen. <laughs> Is it the Moogle funny? Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will Don't be make rewarded, me. of course. I don't doubt it. Way that we are Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance oh to God. our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? What do I get? What, what do you I'd mean zero get? Help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Is it white or is it the light? Mm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Yes, yes. Courtesy of Kenneth. Yes, I'm the delivery boy. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. They must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. 
Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Get a semi. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? For those who don't know, girls are like, um, leopards. But, you know, there'd be Sandara girls, I like up girls. They are pretty strong, there will be probably the enemies like near the end of the <clears throat> game. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. <coughs> ah, Sorry. Wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. I hate to be a murder. Can really do with a proper place to train. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Yes. Here, your reward, as promised. Let me see. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. One guild bag. All that for the guild bag. It's the wood guy again. We'll probably need wood. Oh no, it's not the wood guy. It's the chief botanist. You! Newcomer! I need help! What's the matter? It's my assistant! She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go? All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Yeah, with one guild bag. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Oh. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now it's go an, out an outside and do side not quest. linger. Why? It may already be too late. Okay. Oh, 
What do you want? You called me to say farewell. I... We're leaving. Oh. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Items, give me items. Wait, it's even better. Gaia Blade. Find a buyer. You'll not find a better price than that. Off you go then. I think we're gonna break it. Look. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. When we're done. Make it quick. So will it be? Yep. Is it maybe our links? It'll last you a good while. Wait. What? I need another monitor main. Come on. Why is this weapon so bad? <clears throat> Fine. Don't understand. Yes? What? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. I reckon I can find a buyer. Okay, we can't sell the purple one, so we might be. Upgrading later. Do I want this though? Better I'll be here. I see I'm busy here. What do you want? I have nothing. And okay, okay. Let's be done with the side mission, then we're gonna continue. Someone's in trouble. Yeah, wait, wait. Let me see if I can find some valley mother. Get him, 
Yes, tu vale más del. Perfecto. Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. Aren't you a magic user? What are you doing? And I'm Martel. Running away from spiders. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Of course. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. <laughs> but I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? I don't see any other signage together. So, okay, let's go back. Safe and sound. Yes. Don't worry. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious. When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my mm. research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each I don't know if I will upload this episode. Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. Well, maybe That's... I will upload it along with the other one. It's like... just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't pattern. be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. At the same time. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Okay. Okay, I like that. Let's go upgrade. Well, so will it be? You can thank me later. Do my best work, but it'll do. And look 
caught the curl dragged it. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. It'd better all be here. I'll be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I see I'm busy here. Yeah? What's that for, you, dear? You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. Okay, you're fully equipped. three items. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna upload it together with the previous one. Like a free, like a free episode. Like a DLC. We just, you know, submissioning or something, I don't know. So yeah, I will see you on the next real episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.